that is finite life. Very good. Okay. How much is the life? How much life does it have? Well, for that I need the value of b. So, it turns out that the, the situation is sigma a equals s f times n over 10 to the 3 to the power uh, b. And b turns out to be one third log sigma, sorry, s e over s f. So, let us do this calculation. Again, for our purpose, I am going to close this thing and I am going to say, okay, what is the value of b? b equal to, I am going to go here, equal to 1 over 3 times log, now I got to use log 10. So let us see, log 10 of S E 190 divided by 450. minus 1.2482. So, now I am going to solve for n. So, b equals minus 0 0.12482. So, n will be, so take that, plug it in there and then you will get n will be sigma a over sigma f to the power 1 over b times 10 to the 3. So, let us do the calculation that turns out to be so that is equal to what is sigma a sigma alternating was 250 divided by SF sigma f 450 to the power b uh, to the power 1 over b 1 over that times 1000 there it is about 110,000 cycles. N turns out to be about 110,000 cycles. for case 2. Do you see that? So, if sigma alternating is 250 mega Pascals, then you will get about 110,000 cycles. What if, so let us look at case 3. Sigma alternating equals 250 mega Pascals. Sigma m equals uh, 50 mega Pascals. Where are we? Okay, we go up here and we plot that. Sigma alternating is 250. Sigma m is how much did we say? 50 mega Pascals. 50 is here, 250 is here, you are right here. Now, the question is what is the life? So, what we do for this is we draw another line through here. And this point is what we want. This is now the operating point. This is operating point 2, this is operating point 1 and this one is called S sigma A prime. This tells you roughly speaking anything on this line. This is called the constant life line. That means every point on this line will have the same life. Well, what it means is that will last at least that long. So, if this is a constant life line, so for example, the line that goes through this point will have any point on that dotted line that I just drew will have a life of 10 to the, uh, I mean, uh, have a life of 110,000 
cycles. That's what we computed, right? Now this is called a constant lifeline. It goes like that. Now what happens? I, if I can find this point, then I am, uh, then I am, uh, I have the, I, I know how to compute the life of this thing, right? So how do I do that? It turns out that the formula is fairly easy because it turns out that sigma a over sigma a prime plus sigma m over s u t must be equal to 1. That is the equation of this line. That is this line. Okay. We know this value, we know this value, we know this value, we can compute this. So, let us see that implies sigma a prime is sigma a. So, let us make sure uh, we know how to do that. Sigma a prime is sigma a divided by 1 minus sigma m over sigma ut, which turns out to be 250 megapascals divided by 1 minus 50 over 500, which turns out to be 250 divided by 1 minus 50 over 500 is 1 over 10, 0.1. So, this is 250 divided by 0 0.9, which turns out to be, let us compute that. How much is that? 2 equals 250 divided by 0 0.9, right? And that turns out to be 277.7, .7, So, sigma a prime so, what does it mean? So, let us make sure we understand what this means. So, a material under sigma a equal to 250 megapascals and sigma m equal to 50 megapascals will have at least the same life as one with sigma a prime equals 277 megapascals, 278 megapascals and sigma m equal to 0. That is nice, right? So, now let us calculate this, this life and we just know how to do that. The life will turn out to be, that means n is uh, sigma a prime over sf to the power 1 over b times 1000 that will turn out to be close this equal to let us see equal to 278 divided by 450 to the power what let us see what is b to that power to the power at 1 over b times a thousand whoops give me a second okay let me see what happened It turns out to be 47,000 47, cycles, which means with this load, it will last 47,000 cycles, okay. Our last case, 